in the trademark case Bridgestone versus Panama, a group of companies, Bridgestone, opposes Panamanian trademark law. They lost their case. They were trying to oppose the trademark Riverstone because there is a word stone in Riverstone and therefore you know consumers could mix uh, the companies and uh, um, a part of Bridgestone consumers would definitely go to Riverstone despite the fact that advertising is paid by Bridgestone. Uh, I had a similar case in Europe. Uh, it was a case of uh, the rock group Queen that was attacking, uh, opposing the trademark uh, Queen of Brussels. So according to the rock group Queen, selling clothes to women under the trademark Queen of Brussels was uh, uh, producing, was damaging their business. And this case was lost by Queen of Brussels. This trademark was prohibited because there is, a, there is another trademark which is called Queen. This is why perhaps Bridgestone were so optimistic about their investment case. But the Investment Arbitration Tribunal concludes that this case had no merits. In Europe it might have, but in Panama it didn't have any merit. Now what is the proof of being without merits? Uh, the arbitral tribunal takes the procedural steps as a proof of absence of merits. First, Bridgestone loses its case before the court of the first instance, then they appeal, and then they decide to withdraw their appeal. So this is a proof of absence of merits according to the arbitral tribunal. I wouldn't fully agree with this, but what is interesting for us is how a trademark law is integrated into investment arbitration law. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.